Hello and welcome to this Young Tech special. I'm Shireen Bhan. Now, over our eight-year journey, we very often come across entrepreneurs that we'd like to support. But we haven't been able to profile them because they don't fit our prerequisites of being young, i.e. under 35. But while entrepreneurs can be boxed into different categories, ideas are limitless. And hence, our search for ideas without boundaries has led to the creation of this new show. This week, we put the spotlight on an emerging market. The changing socio-economic dynamics of this country has led to the emergence of senior citizens as a new category for both social and commercial enterprises to cash in on. Here's a look at this Young Turk special. India is home to more than 81 million seniors. Of these, over 11% live without anyone below the age of 60 supporting them. Modern lifestyles have led to more nuclear families leaving this vulnerable and dependent part of our population at the mercy of old age homes and a life of loneliness. As life expectancy has increased from 41 years in 1951 to 64 today, hundreds of old age homes have sprung up in India. Neglect of parents has become a big issue, so much so that the government of India passed the Maintenance and Welfare of Parents and Senior Citizens Bill in 2006. Welcome back. You're watching our Young Turk special Ideas Without Boundaries. Our next entrepreneur is one of the pioneers of creating safe, secure, comfortable retirement communities. Dan Madsen's 180 has already done that in the US, Canada and Mexico and now he's hoping to replicate that idea in India through his joint venture, Amoksh 180. They've already identified two locations, Kodai Canal and Dehradun. Now this is an idea for the retired folk who have money but not a large support system. So here's the story of Amoksh 180. The concept of communities for the retired is popular in the West and is the latest import into India, courtesy Dan Madsen of 180. Partnering Amoksh, a management company in a 50-50 joint venture, Dan created Amoksh 180 in 2008 to create a first-of-its-kind retirement retreat that combines hospitality and housing for seniors in India. Managing assets worth 9,000 crore rupees globally, Dan has already developed over 40 communities with close to 10,000 apartment units for the elderly in the US, Canada and Mexico. Targeting 20 million non-resident Indians and corporates, Dan claims the retired in India are ready to start their second innings in the lap of luxury. But his start itself wasn't that easy. I started at the grassroots level as an employee at one of the uh, locations and worked my way up uh, through different director positions. I became CEO about 10, 11 years ago and then I bought the company about 7 years ago. Um, when I bought it, we, we had about 200 and I guess we had about 400 million um, of assets under management and we're approaching $2 billion today. Um, we're about 1.7 and moving quickly. And we've also expanded into Canada and Mexico and now we're excited to come into India. And we see India as uh, a very, very big expansion for us, a major focus for our company. Um, during that time, uh, over the last 20 years, our industry has evolved, our product has evolved. And what we've continued to do with 180 and Leisure Care, which is our retirement uh, company in the United States um, is we continue to develop and enhance and evolve new services for our population and our customer base. Um, you know, we started out a long time ago and it was just three meals a day, housekeeping and, and, and we had maintenance. And today it's, a, it's like a full five-star service hotel. Um, that's what you can expect at of our locations. And bringing the 180 experience to India, Dan is ready to launch two of his projects by the end of this year in Kodai Canal and Dehradun. With 50 to 70 crore rupees invested in each of these projects, each will house 150 to 200 apartment units. Unlike the West where these apartments are available on rent, in India they will be primarily for sale. Priced between 25 to 65 lakh rupees, buyers will not have to worry about maintenance or management. With added amenities like a golf course, medical center, resort and food courts, residents at Amoksh 180 are guaranteed five-star quality. I think they would expect incredible customer service. One thing that we have worked on for a number of years is our hospitality-based services in a retirement community, which was never, hasn't happened for a long, long time. Um, the industry was a cottage industry, very much old folks home, it was very much take care of medical needs 
and, and have people watch TV all day. And what we've added is five-star, uh, what we call five-star fun in the United States, but a five-star quality of customer service to our brand. Uh, one where we have housekeeping services and, and we have a concierge and we have a travel company that is focused on senior-oriented travel all over the world. So not just away on day trips, but we actually take people away for 30 days to various countries around the world and, and they get to experience life uh, or go visit family because we, we send escorts with them from our company, uh, which makes it easier on families and such. Uh, it assists families with vacations because it helps them with grandpa and grandma and, and getting around and we send an aid with them. So pretty exciting services. They're, they're really endless what we can do. Uh, but, the, but the best thing we, we can focus on is that there will always be good customer service. And we find that in India um, at the finer hotels is, is what we want to emulate. Hamburg 180 is currently identifying developers for its upcoming projects and aims to operate five retreats in the next three years. His big challenge will be to sell the idea of retired community living to middle class India. The next several years we're going to be in an education process about our product. So uh, the way we market, the way we advertise, the way you know we get the word out, um, the proof's going to be in the pudding. We're going to have to demonstrate our ability to perform at the level we say we're going to. And as we do that, our brand will build stronger and stronger in this country and we'll be a trusted brand and we'll be able to expand as much as necessary. Uh, the challenges have been just that, just people getting to know a new concept. How do we embrace it? What's it like? Show us something. So we're very excited about Kodai because we'll have something um, very soon that we can demonstrate our ability to perform. Well, Dan here is wishing you and our Moksh 180 the very best of luck in India. Time for a break.